Hey friends, welcome to another day. Um, I am ready to go for the day. We have been at home. Jason and I have been um, working on our computers, making lists, uh, checking off lists. I had, I think, five appointments or six appointments that I had to call and schedule and sit on hold and wait for people to call me back. In fact, no, I've got them all done. Um, I'm pending Abby's surgery scheduled. I have that doctor um, going, he's going to be calling me back to get that scheduled. And then I've edited a video and I am now here to get my nails done. Um, I have a very busy day and we have a very fun activity to do with Ashley tonight. She is going to cheer tonight at a high school basketball game and she'll cheer for the first half and then at halftime they're going to perform their dance and then we get to go home because then we'll drop her and Abby off. Abby wants to come and watch. And then um, we have game night tonight instead of tomorrow night because it's just the holidays and everyone's schedule is crazy and they all have holiday parties. So we just kind of had to rearrange it. Um, so that'll be kind of fun. I actually got a new game for tonight and I'm going to take it with us and see if we can play it and learn it. Um, if not, we'll just play a regular old. I think one couple can't come tonight and then the other couple couldn't come tomorrow night. So it's like, we're going to pick and choose because next weekend we can't go, but they can both go, if that makes sense. So we're just hanging out with whoever we can this weekend. Um, what else? So I have my nails and then I need to run to Target. I have the funniest gift to get for my brother. I've been working on this plan. Um, one of them is the game that I got to play tonight. I got two of them. I got one for us and one for my brother. I give to my brother and his family for Christmas. Um, we rotate Christmas. I'm killing time here. I have nine minutes until my nail appointment. There's eight siblings. I mean, there's eight of us in my family. Um, and for Christmas, like now that we're all adults, that could get really overwhelming for Christmas presents. And we all want to give someone, give each other a gift, but there's no way we could give eight gifts plus my parent, well, my dad now. And so we rotate um, every year. And this year it's the person right above you. So like my twin sister gives to me, I give to my older brother. Um, and then the next year it rotates down and I will give to my twin sister next year. So I have one more thing, actually two more things to get for my brother. Um, and it just sealed the deal. I can't say it here because I have it scheduled out for beyond when he will actually get this gift. And I don't think that they watch it, but his daughters might. Um, and I don't want to like spoil the surprise. So um, I will tell you what it is after we'll show it to you at the party. We're having a, a holiday party with my whole family. Um, we haven't been home for Christmas in over a decade. So it's... <laughs> It's quite the experience to be able to experience Christmas gift giving. I've always had to ship my gifts and have my family open them on camera, on FaceTime, on a Zoom call, now that we have Zoom calls. Um, and it's not as easy. It's not as fun. Um, so I have that to do. I have my whole list here on my phone. I could, at one in the morning, Jason and I were still awake and we were just like, okay, let's just get out the the list get out the calendar because we're not gonna be able to go to sleep unless we can get this off of our head out of our head I should say we scheduled our family photos for this Sunday Jason's dad is going to Cuba um, in a week and so we have to hurry and have him take our family photos before he goes out of town and we're just praying it's a day like today it's cloudy overcast perfect lighting for family photos perfect lighting it's just that we need to find the window like this where it's not raining on Sunday when we're all dressed and ready to go. I would have done it today, but they're all in school. Like I can't take them out of school. I'm babbling. I still have six minutes. I'm going to, I'm going to let you go. I'm checking off my list. Um, as soon as we can get our family photos done, I will start sending you guys Christmas photo or Christmas cards. This is like unheard of for me to not have my Christmas cards done first. Usually by the end of November, my Christmas cards are done, family photos are done, they're mailed, I'm, I'm watching Christmas movies as I'm addressing them, and they're done at the beginning of December. And I know it's still technically the beginning of December, it's only the 9th, but this is the last thing that I have to do. My presents are all wrapped, the shopping is all done, 
trip is getting planned. We have to start packing for our trip. This is the last thing I have to do, and I can't believe it's the last thing when normally it's the first. Um, it's just scheduling has not worked out. So, and I was actually hoping to get the pictures done with the snow. <laughs> Again, it didn't work out. Okay, I'm gonna get my nails done. I think I'm gonna go to the same color. Clearly I like this color and I like the deep and I'm not gonna go red. I'm not into like the red holiday look, even though I'm wearing, I'm wearing a cute little red flannel today, but I'm not really vibing the red holiday, classic red this year. We're gonna go dark, dark green. Nails are done, did the same color, matches my coat. Creature of habit. But what color should I do for the new year? I'm gonna get my nails done right after Christmas-ish. Usually my nails can last three weeks, so it would be right before the new year. Should I go like gold? Not that it's like I have to have like, we're not going anywhere fancy for New Year's. We're literally going to our friend's house, but um, I don't know, something different. I don't know if I want like dark, dark for the new year. I always like to have something bright and fresh. Anyway, heading to Target. Jason this morning has checked the P.O. box. Send us any Christmas cards if you would like. I am working on Christmas photos and Christmas cards for us to send to you guys. P.O. box is down below if you guys would like to send us anything. We love having a little Christmas card section in our house from you guys. Um, the kids love, they absolutely love to get cards from you guys. I'm like, where is this one from? What state is it from? I'm like, who is it, you know? Is it from Joan or from Lydia? Or should I do some shout outs right now? Who are my regular? Nicole and um, Pam, Pamela I should say. I don't know if you go by Pam or Pamela. Um, anyway, we love to get cards from you guys and uh, it just connects us and makes you guys real for the kids when they were like, oh, they actually like, I think that they don't feel like, like, oh, they are real fans of yours, mom. I'm like, no, they're friends. They're friends of mine, so it's fun. Send us a card if you'd like, and we'll put it out and show it to everyone here on the channel when you send it. Okay, yeah, and okay. Okay, I won't worry about it until January. It's a busy time of, everyone's getting the last of their procedures done at the end of the year, so as long as we get rolling with the in January, as long as we get it started, then that's really all that matters. Okay. All right, you two, happy holidays. Bye. All right, so that was, I'll tell Jason at the same time I'm telling you guys. Um, Yay, I get to be like a viewer. You do, Jace. Are you, are you so excited? <laughs> Back at home, went to Target. Target was like not busy at all. It was like dead quiet, little hum of noise. It was just so nice. I turned on a book, it expires tomorrow, and it's one of our book club books. I just like roamed Target. Um, anyway, that was the surgeon for Abby. Oh, yeah. That was their office. Um, she said, I technically can't schedule her jaw surgery, if you're new, um, right now because they have to start all the clinical procedures and appointments leading up to that, which we get to start hopefully in January. Well, they'll call us in January and we'll start to do those. She said that they have to do like CT scans and x-rays and um, like they have to, Abby has to go in and like really kind of start to make the process of what she wants her jaw to look like, what she wants her face and her nose, everything to look like. So that's very exciting that we're on the books. They're gonna call us, we're gonna get it scheduled and moving forward with it, um, super excited for that. Meanwhile, you are finishing up wrapping presents. Oop, there's one on the counter right there, can't see that. That is a sister gift from Kaylee to Chelsea. So we'll hide that and get that wrapped up. Um, I, what am I doing? Oh, I'm gonna eat lunch. Jason was nice enough to make me an artichoke while I was at Target. And I got home and it's nice and fresh for me. So I'm gonna eat that and we have a mere one hour. Not even that, 45 minutes before we have to head um, and get Abby and Kaylee their checking accounts. And then we'll go to Ashley's cheer game, which is gonna be super fun. In the middle of all this, we're trying to get ready to go on a vacation, our little trip, a mini trip before Christmas. That's all the chaos. All right, I forgot to take my camera with us. Abby officially has a checking account. 
took forever and a day. And this one is ready to do cheer once again, right? Not the first time. Not the first time. All right, so I haven't been able to explain very much because we've been on the go nonstop. I was only home for one hour today. That's it. So we went and got Abby's um, checking account set up. Ended up having to find a third out of three locations to actually get an appointment to get it set up. We had to do it so she can get the job. She has to sign up and have a direct deposit for her paycheck and all this kind of stuff. So we did that. It took forever. It took a couple hours. And now we went home, picked up Ashley, obviously, and we're here at the um, at a different high school and uh, they're practicing getting get ready to go in and perform. I thought that they'd be cheering like during the game and maybe they will. I'm kind of, I was kind of hoping that they would. Um, sorry, it's really cold and windy out here and rainy. Um, I was kind of hoping that they would um, cheer during the game, but it, it might be that they only cheer during halftime and I want to leave after halftime. And I broke that to Ashley and she's like, no, I'm cheering for the second half. And I was like, I'm going home. <laughs> I have plans tonight. Okay, let's go see this. How was it? Good. Your first cheer game with EDE went well? Yeah. You had fun? Yeah. I thought you'd cheer a little bit more than you did. <laughs> yeah. It's not our game. No. But that was kind of fun. We all, the we only do one cheer. Yeah, it's okay. You had fun. So Jason is bringing the car up. It's really, really cold out here. 
Um, so if you saw there's a girl that got injured from the other team, like literally the like, first quarter, either she like twisted her ankle twisted or like um, well, she didn't twist it, it could have been dislocated. Like and I just felt so bad because like she didn't have a parent there. And it was just like, that's why I filmed it because I was like, oh, it's just tearing on my heart. It's too close to home for us, like getting injured at a game. Like, um, I just felt so bad. She had no one there and they didn't have any medics for the team. And I was like, I don't even understand that. Um, it was just the coaches that were by her side. And uh, anyway, it took forever for the paramedics to get there and they had to like she balloon wrap her ankle. Everyone was talking about it too. Like, All I was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, oh, like, don't. Cause she probably could hear them cause they were like screaming. Yeah, she it. was like very embarrassed. She's like wanted everyone to surround her and not anyone to see her. She wouldn't let anyone near her except for the coaches and the paramedics. So bad for her. So she's off to the hospital. All right, Jason's here. We're gonna get everyone home. So gross out here. All right, ooh, my little, uh, ooh, that looks, that's good lighting in the dark. Even that like, I don't even need these. I just have my little visor light. That's good. It's like a ring light. That's amazing. Um, I'm gonna have to remember that for a road trip. We're gonna end our night here. We are. We just dropped all the Abby and Ashley off at home. Um, everyone else is at home. They're all just gonna hang out, and we're gonna go and hang out with our friends. We do have a new game. We're gonna try and learn Ocrud, and uh, we're just gonna have a fun night. I haven't been at home for more than what an hour. Today. I'm very tired, but I want a chance to hang out with my friends again before Christmas. We won't see them again aside from church on Sunday. Um, so we're going to sign off with you guys. That was a very fun game for Ashley. Fun to get out there and cheer again. And we're thinking of the girl who got injured and hope that she is okay. Um, it was just, I don't know. It was kind of driving me crazy that she didn't have like family there with her but the opposing team lives way far south. And if that- No, that team, the team she was on lives way Yeah, the team south. she was on, they were the opposing team, but like, they feel so bad. I can't imagine like, it, had we not been at the game where Kaylee got injured, when I mean, she was just in the stands, she wasn't obviously like was one of the players, but I can't imagine being at home and finding out your kid got injured and anyway it just it broke my heart I couldn't even focus on the game I just wanted to go over and give the girl a hug it's just like the mom and me but um, anyway have fun with Ashley um, we will talk to you guys soon um, we are getting ready to go on a road trip go see my family so stay tuned for packing or I don't know if I'm gonna have the energy to actually film a packing video but maybe I'll show you how or what we're taking in general and how we're gonna pack it into a very small car <laughs> we haven't done small car road trip in a like a long time before four kids for sure so take care see you guys next time i was literally just talking about these ditches oh gosh that car is in it we were literally just talking about that we were literally just talking about that we were just driving here it was like two seconds after i turned off the camera there was an accident over here when i took ashley to her last cheer practice we kind of got stuck and luckily had to go a different way, got away from the accident, but the accident was in that exact same spot. I guarantee they were probably in the ditch as well. The ditch is like It's just so ditch. bad. They're so, I mean, it's like a whole car, like a whole car can fit in the ditch. And it's so dark on this road that like, if anything happens, you're in the ditch. It's so bad. And there is a car right there in the ditch. It's so bad. Um, anyway. As long as it's not us. As long as it's, or our friends. I don't want anyone to get hurt, but anyway, take, take, take care, take two.